All right, so today we're gonna do a silly mod. I have to explain to my wife why this is even necessary, um, but we're doing this one for the gram, basically. So these are blow-off valves. Uh, I think the company's called Burger Motorsports, and essentially they make the car go or or anyway. So <laughs> as you shift. Uh, the vehicle releases pressure and from the turbo and that turbo can either go back into the system Which is probably what it does right now or it can be released out into the environment and into the engine bay and when you do that You sound cool So that is <laughs> So that is the plan This serves absolutely pretty much no purpose to my understanding uh, So these are mods that men do for shits and giggles and street cred and attention, uh, for lack of better words. So, we're gonna try to get this installed in the vehicle and we're gonna see if uh, she approves after she hears the sound. Right now it's a hybrid with a twin turbo and it sounds pretty quiet until you hit probably 60 or 70 and you, know, you start to feel the power. But now you're gonna feel the power throughout or at least hear the power, I should say. This does not add any horse, but it feels like it adds at least 50, so. Great. Here Can't we go. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so what comes in the kit is just the two blow-off valves, what appears to be some O-rings, uh, some set screws, and then the mounting hardware. Uh, to remove the current mounting hardware, it's a Torx and uh, the new ones come with Allens. And then I believe it's a 10 millimeter. We're gonna use this Milwaukee Power Ratchet to remove the air intake uh, hose just to gain access to all of these. Uh, we've already removed the top cover of the engine and that gives us access to everything and a little bit more visibility, but that's about it. All right, so first we're gonna take the socket and uh, loosen up the air intake hose. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the intake. There we go. Okay. Once you get one side off, the other sides will be a little easier to work with. There All you right. go. Just keep twisting and kind of pulling. You don't want to spin all the way around, but just like little 30 degree. There you go. Let's just loosen it more. There you go. Okay. We apologize for how long that took. There are three uh, Torx screws all around that. Try to get that in there. There it is. See if I can reach that and get that out of there without dropping it into the abyss. There it is. And repeat for the rest. This one's definitely gonna fall. Oh, I got it, sick. We have attached the O-ring onto the blow-off valve, and we are gonna start with one Allen on this side, and on this side, one Allen as well. The instructions that I found online basically said start with two, and so there's four options. And online I've seen people have engine issues when they started with none. So we're gonna start with two and see how that goes. What I wanna show is we did logo down, uh, switch kind of facing towards the fan and everything is uh, kind of threading through with a new Allen. And there's really only one way you can kind of put this on. So you can't mess it up. Just try not to drop anything in there. Just take your time. There 
And then we're gonna go ahead and start threading these in. And I'm just working my way around. That's it. All right, so we just put this back on. All you gotta do is loosen these up, reverse what you did in the beginning. That's it. All right, so we're on the passenger side now. She's gonna loosen that a whole bunch. And get that intake off. Nice. Good. Okay. And now what we're doing is that bolt right there, holding that bracket, the gray harness. This gray harness next to her hand is uh, in the way of one of the torque screws that are holding in the valve. So you want to take this bolt out. It's located here. Remove that from there and you're good. So now we're going to go ahead and Remove the torque screws off the sensor. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and attach the new one on. And then you just kind of set every screw in, take your time, don't drop anything. Don't forget to put that bolt in that was holding the harness. Now we're gonna slap the uh, intake hose back in. And now tighten everything up. <laughs> Bye -bye. And now tighten everything up. All right, once you get your cover back on, make sure everything's pressed on. And we're gonna test this thing out.